Welcome. Today we're going to take a look at developing an idea in Obsidian using the long form plugin, using uh, DevonThink, using the graph analysis plugin, uh, using Kanban, a bunch of different tools that I'm kind of working with to develop a new writing workflow in Obsidian because uh, Scrivener just isn't there. And many thanks today to Shortform for sponsoring this video. We're going to talk about how I've used them to narrow down my research choices a little bit later in the video and there'll be a link for discounts on that. Buckle up, let's start digging into developing ideas in Obsidian with you know, all the different tools I'm going to use. So one of the first things we're going to do is to dive in and look at the, right here, uh, at the long form plugin um, and start kind of developing ideas here. So uh, one, you see I already have some ideas, right? Time off, uh, community breakdown from overwork, we've lost noble leisure. Um, noble leisure being the idea that leisure is good in and of itself, uh, just for itself. It doesn't have to produce anything. It just has to, you just do it because it, you should. Um, and stuff about increased individuality means we don't bowl. And that even actually relates now that I think about it too. We only want integration on our terms. So us, this mainly relates to white people. Um, you have to do things the white people way. And that does break our, our communities and how we do it. But what I'm really going to do is I'm going to go to split, split vertically. And I do have this, what I would call the research dashboard on community, where I've just been collecting a lot of ideas over the time. Um, yeah, over what I've been doing uh, over the last quite a while. And so one of the things I would look at is here, community breakdown. If we look at community breakdown, and I think I have this already in here. Yeah, villainizing others, right? No, I'm gonna go back again, come in here. Villainizing others breaks community, and I've linked to this note already. Based on community breakdown uh, and tribalism, it makes it easy for to see people as other, as not us, if they don't share our beliefs in exactly the way we do things. That actually even relates, now that I'm thinking about it again, to affirmation bias and Disconfirmation bias, which are uh, confirmation bias is when we only, we give more weight to things that confirm um, our beliefs, and disconfirmation bias is when we uh, like look for things that kind of basically it's all about backing ourselves up. Um, confirmation bias and disconfirmation bias. So I need to look into both of those long term to see just to see how they relate here and how I'd bring them into this idea maybe or maybe into another idea. Uh, I just created a task there so that I can find it later um, so I know that there are things to do in here. I'll also link to a current book I'm reading uh, in the Shock Doctrine and the Rise of Disaster Capitalism. We saw that classifying you as citizens as enemy combatants othered them and then we can torture them because they lose all their rights because we just turn them into other as to not us. And uh, we turn people into other. It's also what happened, uh, what the Banana Massacre really happened because multinational corporations said, hey, these people want rights basically um rights that we would free that we would we would give to workers in north america um this was like in the 1930s um uh, philip samurai the banana man uh what's it called the fish that ate the whale is another book that i read based on philip samurai um who was a bit of a scou scoundrel business person scoundrel that was like oh, i can't build a bridge sure but i built two really long docks that have like a floating portion i can just take in and out so that's how we got around some of it but the Banana Massacre, they murdered a whole bunch of indigenous peoples um, in South America somewhere. I'd have to look up the reason, the thing again, um, because they were wanting rights that basically the corporations didn't want to give them. And now another thing I'd do is I'd come into Dev and Think and look up community. Um, and specifically, I would look in here. And so I found one um, already, which I've linked in my community uh, thing. My research dashboard of community, right? Men have no friends and women bear the burden uh, of it. So that's a community thing where men aren't taking care of themselves emotionally. And so women have to pick up the slack, unfortunately. And I come in here and say, what is related to that? So this is the see also panel. Uh, it's kind of under your sidebar here, right? Oftentimes it's set up as info, but if you go to this one here, it's see also. And so these are things that are related. Um, to the note that you were looking at. So to the men bear the burden, this is um, 
related. So many will have it so often mocked and belittled in the press are the survival strategies of a demographic born into captivity. So that's another thing. Community actually relates to we don't prepare kids to be adults as well. So that I would bring in here and say I would split it. Do I have it in here? Not. Nope, I don't. So we'll kill that. Let's turn this into a new note. I'm going to have to create a split again. Split horizontally, new, not every kid on matures, and it is what? Uh, 18, 11, oh. 18, 11, 20, 21, and it is 11, 48. So then we'll go in here and say, note template. Uh, the author is Gabriel Winant. I'll bring that in here. Element tags are community parenting. I want to link it in here as well. So I go in here and say not every kid bond matures. This is something I want to do. And I actually would also come over here and we don't prepare kids to be adults. They're not responsible for major chores. And I also look at not every kid bond matures. So that's talking about, <clears throat> what did I read this in? iGen maybe as well, that kids are really forced to stay at home, communicate through electronic devices. And I've felt this. We infantilize them. We don't give them any responsibility. And then we're like, hey, you're 20. You better why get out there. Go, go do your thing. How come you're not adults? And then we, uh, kids these days, that's the other one I read, kids these days by um, Malcolm Harris. That was another good book that I've already read, and so I need to make sure I put that in here. Uh, kids these days, and I actually have two notes on it for some reason. I'm just going to link to both of them these days. I would figure out later why I have two notes on it, and I would read it. And so this will actually go in my notes here. So those are two things I want to investigate as I look at. Um, as I interrogate the idea that we really don't prepare kids to be adults, that we infantilize them, and then we kind of, you know, say this is terrible that you are, you know, you can't take responsibility even though we've never let them walk to the store on their own, or we don't let them go out with friends. Like when I was like 14, I, when I was like 10, I was running around the street kind of at will, and my five-year-old brother was coming with us, and I'm telling you, we didn't like watch him that much. We were brothers, you know. We didn't worry about it as much. We're having a discussion with my mom, and I was like, you really think we watched him like you would watch him? And she's like, well, no. It's like, well, here you go. So that's something I actually try to combat in my parenting is try to get away from infantilizing my children, giving my 10-year-old the opportunity to walk to the bookstore a block away, stuff like that when she wants. So another really good tool that I will use to kind of investigate my ideas is the graph analysis tool. So this is actually a plugin, community plugin, uh, graph analysis. So you got to search it, turn it on. What it does is very similar to the see also panel in DevonThink. It actually comes in here and brings me just things that are interesting, things that it thinks relates, right? Time, work, discipline, industrial capitalism. Competition is killing us. That's another probably good book in here that I want to do. So is that already in here? Nope. So it doesn't really matter what order it is in here is killing us uh, and time there we go what was the other time on there hard time nope probably not but penitentiary and so I would again go through here and start looking for things that have related and that's another one I'd probably go in there leisure the basis of culture Right, there's another one in there. Leisure, the nine to five wants your leisure time. Another one in here. I would go through individualism as another idea that I would want to go and make sure. I don't know why that's not winding down. There you go, solitude going solo. So that's another one, right? We, over here, what was it? Increased individuality. So that might even go in here. There's one thing I wish I could pin this to tie into this one note over here because I just lost it right here. Solitude. Uh, going solo, solitude, 
time off. There you go. So I've actually already read time off. There'll be a link to that review above because it comes out already. So I'd come in here and I'll probably just say, I also want to look at going solo in here. Going solo. Uh, and solitude, the pursuit of a singular life in a crowded world. So those are probably going to be I wonder in part different, I know, I think it was in, I was in 4,000 weeks or in time off, I talked about having complete ownership of your time isn't necessarily great because it's the times that we give our time to other people that really make life worthwhile. I think of the time I spend coaching cross country across the street as being like a really good um, thing that helps me have value in my time. Even seeing these, you know, these kids uh, in the grade school telling you about some run they did around the block and like, they're so excited about it. And that feels like huge value to me uh, and these are going to be kind of on the other side like you do way too much um when i've read these types of books before i've often found that the too much is often like you're doing too much on social media you're doing too much in these other realms that aren't really building up your community though so these are other ideas that i would investigate and interrogate here now another thing i would do would be with short form which is the sponsor of today's video so short form is a site where you can go and get really good book reviews. Um, so something like 12 rules of life, which I've already read and I'm going to go back through it to refresh my idea. And why would I do it for this project specifically? Um, I do it for this project specifically because, uh, I remember in that book, Jordan Peterson, it really felt like he gave a lot of excuse to, uh, you know, what is often termed as incel men, involuntarily celibate men for acting the way they did, um, and being jerks to women. But I think that there's a bigger thread to pull on that that I've read in a few books talking about how, like Hillbilly Elegy is another one they have in here, um, where they talked about looking at the loss of meaning and of jobs um, in America. And then that one's uh, in the Appalachian South, I believe, uh, for Hillbilly Elegy. And they lose that, and so they lose a purpose in life, right? So they purpose and meaning. And we even saw that in uh, A Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl losing that purpose to continue to live through a concentration camp and people just, you know, slowly wasted away as soon as they had that or quickly wasted away. So one of the things that I did in here when I was you know, building some of the books here in short form is I started looking for uh, like education. So that's another one, ultra learning, a mind for numbers, how to lie with statistics, leading change. So I'd look through here and say like, what in here really um, do I think relates to the community, um, the community aspect that I would want. And I'm not sure that I know anything in he this one, the total money makeover. So Hillbilly Elegy is one, which I've already starred. Capitalism and Freedom. This is Milton Friedman's book. I'm actually reading one that kind of says it's terrible. Um, called the shock doctrine, uh, talking about how they used military coups to push capitalism on South America, uh, and how it was bad. But Free Milton Friedman, uh, what was came to be known as the Chicago Boys uh, in some uh, South American countries, people who were trained, you know, under the same teachings as Milton Friedman, um, they got to use military coups and violent um, political shock to to do this. So I want to. I've never read that book, so I want to be familiar with it. This one is again Hillbilly Elegy. So what I use this for is on a project by project basis. I'd come in again and look for community and look for books that I think will relate to my topic and decide whether like, do I really gonna invest in this? Cause as you can see over here, I already have a huge list of books, right? Um, our kids, the death and life of great American cities, strong towns I've already read, walkable city, electric cars aren't the solution, nonviolent communication, and the anatomy of peace, 12 rules for life. So that's a couple that are in here. Uh, imagine communities, nonviolent communication, the anatomy of peace is another one I'd look at in here. Um, and I dig in through here and decide like, is this really a book that I'm gonna need to go deeper in? Or did I get, do I feel like I got enough of the gist of what the book's talking about to inform my own thinking on it? A short form is great because in addition to having, you know, the web view right here, it's got pretty good um, apps for your devices. So I can read this in split screen on my iPad, looking at Obsidian, looking at short form at the same time, start marking up the books and taking notes on it while I read it. And then later on, I can integrate it into my notes for this bigger project that I'm working on. If you use the link below shortform.com slash Curtis McHale, it's gonna support the channel. You're gonna get uh, five days free. You're gonna get 20% off a yearly plan. 
And yeah, then you just help support the channel. Thanks to Shortform for sponsoring this video. So the next thing I've really done as I look at this is I've actually created a, um, I'm calling it uh, here in my file menu, WIP community, work in progress community. And so this is say a rough Kanban board for chapters, uh, just to see what's up and interrogate the idea. So if I look at this one where we lost community one, you can see I've actually linked in the long form panel here some of the notes, right? Uh, community breakdown from overwork right here, links to this right here. So this is just to start trying and group my bigger notes into something. Um, and maybe I would actually, you know, have the whole chapter in here and render that out as a draft from this view. I know the Mac Stories crew has some plugins that will actually, um, for Obsidian, that will actually render this out into completed documents for you if you're a member of Mac Stories, which I am. Now, I'm not sure that overall I really will end up writing the entire document, the entire um, work in Obsidian because I'm not sure that the long form plugin has all the tools that I need. I think it's got a lot of them. It's got a lot of the initial stuff, but I could still see a day where I look, get over to Ulysses and I start really writing the rest of my stuff in Ulysses as I finalize the organization of the document. But I will do all my research in Obsidian. I'll do all my pre-writing. I'll do all my organization as the scenes in um long form and then I will see where we're at from them because the plugin is continuing to be developed and we're starting to see more features as the developer of it is needing more features for their own writing practice. That's really it. Many thanks to Shortform for sponsoring the video. If you use their link below it'll help me out because they'll say hey he's got a channel that people are clicking on so that's good for me. Good for you because then I get to produce more videos. Uh, if you like the video thumbs up below. If you loved it subscribe at the bell YouTube will let you know something happened. If you really want to support the channel you can become a member by going to curtismchaleca slash membership where you get a free newsletter and you get well you get a paid newsletter and you get some of the courses for free that I've taken. All of them in fact. Have a good one.